Hello there, my name's Sam, and welcome back to Service Area, and hello to the <laughs> live studio audience. <laughs> hello, say hello, live studio audience. <laughs> hey, mom, say hi to say hi to your mom. <laughs> say hi to your mom. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're back. We're back here in Service Area. Um, last time we played the Rhodes household over here, but today we're actually jumping across the street. To the automotive household. I'm intrigued by this household. They pretty much live at a car, car dealership. It's like an at-home business car dealership. We'll read their little bio here. We've seen them like a pop up a few places. <laughs> We've seen them pop up here and there. So teenagers Mustang and Hamilton to hope to take over the workshop one day. But their uncles Bud and Marcus seem to like making things difficult from time to time, especially after the accident at the Rose Bride Club pool where Bud drowned. And after a few days, he was seen wandering around the neighborhood as a zombie. Will Enzo and Trudy Automotive be able to maintain control of everyone in their family now that things have become so strange? Interesting. There's some, there's some layers happening here. We did see, we have seen Bud the zombie around. Um, but I'm interested in kind of getting to know everybody. One person we did see last time was Enzo. We screwed him up, but I think we'll maybe fix his, fix his look. Okay, let's, let's jump in and see what we're, what we're in for here. Okay, so here we is at the, at the automotive household. Poor little Enzo got screwed up last time. We screwed up Enzo because there's a little feud between Trudy and Zelda, and then Enzo came into the uh, salon. So poor little Enzo got screwed up. Maybe we'll we'll fix him up. We'll have him wash himself up in the mirror. <laughs> wash himself in the, the bathroom. Wash off his little kissy mark. Uh, but yeah, so it's essentially they, they're they they're kind of like a, a, a car dealership place, or maybe a car... I don't know, because automotive... I guess they maybe they fix them and sell them a little bit. Look at this poor man. We, we've we've ruined this poor man. <laughs> he had a beautiful head of hair. We're going to have to give him like stubble or something. Like his hair is growing back. Okay, let's look at the building because it's actually really big. But I'm also confused because there seems to be electronics for sale. So I'm kind of confused about what this place like. So they're selling electronics and cars. Interesting. I didn't I didn't I didn't even notice this part. Got some nice, nice seating out here. They've got a pretty sweet setup. They got like a little hot tub and everything. And then let's see. So you go. Okay. So this is like our little entrance zone. I like the little sitting area. Got like a little sitting area. And I guess this is just like activity place. They got a toy making bench and everything. They're making toys and they're making robots and they're fixing cars. Okay. And then, but this is the actual house. This is, I don't ever use this object. Funky, fun little thing going on there. I like the blue. Look at the blue in this room. <laughs> Look at the blue with this this uh, cow print couch. And then another one of these little thingies. They like these little, the little thingies like I got behind me. You do use this object. There's one behind you. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I use it in the IRL. But uh, yeah, I like this. We got lots of interesting little stuff going on. I think there was an upstairs. Where is the stairs? Oh, right here. Okay. Then they go up. Okay, we got some bedrooms. This is the boys' room. I like all their things. They got all kinds of stuff. It's a very, like, there's lots of things going on. Why are there two double beds in this room? Whose room is this? Wow, there's a lot going on in this room. <laughs> the, there's just the blue curtains with, like, the rustic cabin themed this and then this piece and then this piece <laughs> there's a lot going on i i like it though but it's like oh my god i don't know who's maybe this was because i think i think this guy marcus is like a brother to enzo and then i think bud who's dead is also a brother and like maybe the brothers slept here this was like the the adults room and this is like the teenage well no there's no yeah there is two beds in here i thought there was only one for a sec 
Okay, I guess we gotta figure out who's who first. Let me hit play and let them just kind of breathe for a second. We've got Mr. Enzo. So this is Enzo Automotive. He's the father of the household. Um, is she? She looks like she's acting like she's gonna throw up. Trudy, do you have something to tell the class? Okay, let's let's focus on Enzo first. This poor man. We gotta we gotta fix his face. He's a handsome guy though. So he's a family sim. He does have a want to have a baby, but he also has a want for Hamilton to be an overachiever. I noticed his aspirations really low. He wants to restore 50 cars. Okay, so that'll be kind of fun. So we'll be able to be like out here working on cars with him. So that'll be like a nice little thing to do. But he also wants his Mustang to be an overachiever, but he doesn't have that like locked in. So is 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 Hamilton the favorite? He's also unemployed because he owns the business. He's very neat. He's pretty shy, pretty active, very serious, and I don't know, I guess more nice than, than Grouchy, so I don't know. He's not like, he doesn't have any super wild personality or anything. Okay, what's your bio saying, sir? Enzo has been passionate about mechanics since he was a child. His dream was to comp compete in rallies, but since he couldn't fulfill it, he set up his own workshop. Enzo thinks that Trudy doesn't understand that it's too early to kick her brother out of the workshop after what happened to Bud. It would be best to stick together. Especially with the way Hamilton and Mustang tend to fight, there needs to be people at home. Okay, so Trudy wants them to kick out Marcus, who is um, a brother? Let's look at the family tree also. Okay, yeah, they're bu brothers. So Bud, Bud and... Enzo and Marcus are all brothers. Bud is also the parent to Mistake. Um, we played Mistake a few episodes back in the Poverty household. So little Mistake that Bud, the, the dead brother who's a zombie, is is Mistake's father. Um, so we got some connections there. Yeah, so he just loves wifey. He doesn't really hate anybody. He's like a chill guy. So what do you got? Never went to college. Okay, he doesn't... He he. <laughs> I like that his very first memory is just never went to college. Fell in love with Trudy, got engaged, had a lousy wedding party. Okay, but woohooed, opened first business. Hamilton's the oldest, okay. And then they had Mustang. Um, Mustang got a D. Prime died, okay. Ella and Prime, the mayors. Mustang grew up badly. I think Mustang might be the black sheep of the family. And then became Master Robert Roboteer. Roboteer. Vermin. Once again, vermin happening. What? Wait, is this a, this might be an, is this an error? Because it says Prime died, Ella died, and then met Prime, met Ella. Because supposedly they were already dead and then now he know he's meeting them. So Krayshawn dying, being a zombie. Bud dying, being a zombie. Anyway, so he's got pretty, he doesn't have any super major memories. Like, oh my god, this happened, that happened. He just wants everybody to stick together. And then Trudy, Trudy's a fortune sim. She also wants Hamilton to be an overachiever. I, I think Hamilton might be the favorite child. She's a little more on the sloppy side. She's not as shy. Pretty active. It's interesting. Her playful and nice is a little bit off. Like there's a discrepancy between her genetic personality and her current personality. So like she's more playful than she would be genetically. And then she's less nice than she would be genetically. So I don't really know what that's about. That's kind of interesting. Trudy wants her children to take over the workshop when she and Enzo are older. But she feels it's time for her brother-in-law, Marcus, to rent something out there with one of his girlfriends. She thinks it's time for Marcus to get out. If these guys have kids, we have to name them after cars. You're right. Yeah, I think we have to continue the naming. Because I guess... I'm not familiar with the... I don't know... I don't... I'm not familiar with the car brand Hamilton. But I have heard of it. I don't think they're common here in the United States. Obviously a Mustang, well, I mean, Mustang isn't a, Mustang's not a type of car, but it's like, well, it is a type of car, but it's not like a car brand. Is ha is Hamilton a car brand or a type of car? Because <laughs> like a Mustang is a Ford, right? Ford Mustang. We got to come up with a goofy one though. Like, I don't know what. Kia Soul. <laughs> Kia Soul Automotive. <laughs> Toyota Camry. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, we'll have to come up because I think she must be pregnant. We got to come up with some good car names because Girly here, Girly's got something going on. Let me see. Does Trudy have any suspicious? So Trudy hates Zelda and she doesn't like Bud Automotive for some reason. Um, 
She was friends with Cray Sean, or technically still is, even though she's a zombie now. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just... Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trudy... <laughs> Trudy has something to share with the class. <laughs> Trudy does, in fact, have something to share with the class. Wow. Trudy's got herself some some lovers. She's got a crush on Husky, which I don't think was mutual because last time I didn't see I didn't I didn't see it on Husky's end. So but that's interesting. So she's is she gonna try to get to Zelda through like getting with Husky? Because that's the other thing is last time we were playing she called husky and like she called the house and husky answered and i was like oh it's too bad zelda didn't answer and they could fight but now it's like she was calling because she has a crush on husky and wants to get him know him better interesting she has three bolts with tractor worker the icon the legend tractor worker she has scott spooner i don't know who this man is we haven't found this guy looks like he's a cop his shirt looks like a cop shirt in love with him <laughs> titanium purple she's in love with that man Aaron, we know Aaron, unfortunately. <laughs> Aaron's kind of a jerk. We know him. He works for the Rise Br Road, Bri Ro Road Bride Club. <laughs> the Rose Bride Club. And she literally hates her son Mustang. I'm I'm Trudy's much more questionable than expected. <laughs> she dislikes her son. She she hates her son more than she hates her brother-in-law. Which at this rate, I'm surprised that she doesn't have an affair with her brother-in-law. Like I'm surprised that that's not going on. Or that like that's not, like, one of her motivations secretly for him moving out is that, like, maybe she doesn't... You would think maybe she'd want to get him out of there so that it didn't... Nobody caught on or something? Maybe he knows what... That... Why she wants him gone. Yeah, maybe he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's friends with Hamilton. Once again, so Hamilton's, like, the favorite. And then Mustang's not the favorite. And then her husband, Enzo. Wow. Okay. She's got two bolts with Uranus. Yeah, I'm just gonna add that one in there. So let's see. My God, I'm curious about her memories. Met Enzo. Made best friends. Had very first kiss with Enzo. Got married. Had a lousy wedding party. We'll have to see if the the family telling photos indicate anything with the with the this wedding party. Mustang teen runaway challenge, perhaps. So we woohooed with Enzo. Met Prime and Perpetua, or per met Prime and Ella. Then had Hamilton. Then had Mustang. We got Mustang and Hamilton growing up. She became a master roboteer. So she became em enemies with Zelda shortly after this. So like, who did she met Zelda and immediately became enemies? Like, what is it about these girlies that makes like, why do they hate each other? I just don't. So became besties with Tractor. So it looks like her first affair was Tractor Worker. Had an affair. Fell in love. Made out with Tractor Worker. Woohooed with Tractor Worker. Met Arthur. Fooled around with Arthur. Had an affair. Woohooed with Arthur, met Scott, had an affair, woohooed with Scott, met Titanium, had an affair, uh, yeah, woohooed with Titanium, and then the vermin came, Krayshawn died, zombies, Krayshawn zombie, back to back, the girlie is, is, this girlie's putting in the work, is this, what is, I, I'm just, that's interesting, that's really weird, I had no, I, I didn't realize that at all, fooled around with Aaron, and then Bud died, became zombie, Met Bisasha, met Louisa. I think that's so that's the end of her memories. That's kind of wild. So who did she woohoo with last? She woohooed with Aaron last? Do you think that she's pregnant with Aaron's baby? Okay, so let's move on to Marcus. I haven't really seen much of Marcus. Where'd your hair go, Marcus? He's got long hair and okay. I, I, I can't help but think that well, you know, I don't want to be mean, but I don't know that Marcus has the same spice as his brother. You know what I mean? Like he seems like he 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 maybe didn't get as good of the, the genetic the genetic role as his brother. He's got a little bit of a goofier look to him, but maybe he's a nice guy. I don't know. He has a he has a family sim, so both of those brothers are family sims. He does look perma stoned. He kind of looks perma stoned. He uh wants to be engaged to Faline. So so far we have multiple men in town that want Faline. Look at his personality. Wait, his his personality is all over the place as far as the discrepancy between genetic genetic and current personality. He's supposed to only have two sloppy, but he's way neater. He's supposed to be way more outgoing than he currently is. He's supposed to be way lazier than he currently is. He's a little bit more playful than currently, and he's supposed to be nicer. I still don't know, like, what that means. I guess it's just, like, them changing over time due to things that have happened to them. 
Girly Pop Faleen, yeah. She's to see what it is is Faleen works at the Rose Bride Club and fools around with all the mans as her job. And apparently all these men just just think that I guess she just does such a good job at her job that they all fall in love with her. They don't know how to keep it business. So Sim Bio. Marcus's bio. Marcus did not expect to fall in love with one of the Rose Bride Club workers, as I was just saying. <laughs> His brother Bud told him to forget about Faleen, but Marcus knows they were made for each other. Okay, so his entire personality trait is that he wants one of the workers at the Rose Bride Club. But so he he loves Faleen. Yeah, he hates Adrian Bravo. Why does he hate Adrian Bravo? Also, wait, why does why does Shirley have this messed up makeup? Shirley's got the messed up makeup. Who did somebody mess up Shirley last time when we weren't looking? Because we fixed Shirley's makeup, and now Shirley's got the messed up makeup. How who how dare they? So what is your like? You got any good relationships besides your girly Faleen? He doesn't get along with Trudy. His bestie was Bud. You think we'd ever get to a point where we'd have like Bud move back in? We haven't ever had like a of zombie move back in. Like, we didn't have Krayshawn come back. We haven't... Like, I wonder if Bud would move back in. He doesn't seem to, like, have any other affairs. He's he's friends with Tractor Worker. DJ Boss Starkiller is a great name. He's friends with DJ Boss Starkiller. <laughs> OMG Tractor Worker has a kid named Baby Tractor. That'd be funny. Or, like, Lawnmower. <laughs> what if Tractor Worker has a, has a, has a baby named... <laughs> mower driver <laughs> lawn mower <laughs> interesting what are your memories sir uh so his first ever memory is being besties with bud enzo getting married had a great party interesting he's remembering having multiple good parties interesting that other people are are remembering bad parties and he's got good parties the usuals all the all the town folks so made out with failing so failing was his first ever woohoo so this man went to the this man went to the Bible study for his first woohoo and fell in love immediately, which like seems cur like rookie like okay, <laughs> a, a typical rookie mistake. <laughs> he pays the lady for her services and then thinks that they're gonna get married. Interesting. So Vermin Bud dies, met Adrian, lost Faleen as a best friend. Lost fight with Adrian. Oh, I wonder if there's some drama between him. I bet he went to like, he he went to like, maybe go see her and saw that Adrian was like having a session with her or something. And they like got in a, got in a fight or something. So Trudy talking about Marcus's girlfriend's plural was her projecting. Yeah, I was about to say that too. It's kind of like, because Trudy in her bio says Marcus rent something out there for one of his girl with one of his girlfriends and it's like trudy you're the only one that has multiple relationships like marcus is literally just in love with the local i almost just said it <laughs> local bible study worker the local rise rose bride club worker so he remembers he so he became enemies with adrian bud's a zombie and then demortius died okay interesting there's some interest in th there's more and more happening more and more happening Okay, let's go see Hamilton. So if Hamilton looks familiar, Hamilton appeared. Also, Hamilton's a super cutie. Hamilton appeared we, when we were playing the Dufour household. The son of the Dufour household and Hamilton are in a relationship. They, they're they dating. It's Sebastian, the little blonde dude. Um, interesting, he hates his brother. Everybody hates Mustang. I feel bad for Mustang. Yeah, Mustang is Lilith. Mustang is the Lilith of the household. Okay, let me look at his bio. He's a fortune sim. What's your lifetime wish? Restore 50 cars. So he's got the same one as his dad. He's neat. He's he's kind of outgoing. He's pretty active, but he's very serious and kind of grouchy. That's interesting. He's very, he's very down to business. Hamilton's bio. Hamilton knows that Mustang will never be responsible enough to take over the shop. He spends the day outside, surrounded by bad company. But he, but can he continue staying secretive about his boyfriend for Sebastian's sake? Okay, so he's supposed to be staying quiet about his relationship with Sebastian because Sebastian might get in trouble about it or something. So he's like, hey, Mustang's the bad kid. 
and he doesn't doesn't like him but also he's keeping secrets himself that's kind of what's what seems to be happening here uh let's look at his memories he remembers learning to talk and walk he got a plus report card but his brother got a d he won a fight with his brother so he's bullying his brother grew up well had a great birthday party mustang grew up badly best friends with bud okay snuck out with sebastian okay so he became besties with sebastian and snuck out with T sebastian Fell in love with him, made out with him, and then vermin happened. Bud dies. First date with Sebastian, went steady. I think this happened when we were playing them. I think while we were playing him, he asked him to go steady, and they went on a date and stuff. I feel like, I feel, I already, looking, looking already at <laughs> Mustang's memories are just like, there's all red. Oh God, let's, 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 <laughs> I feel bad for Mustang. Hi buddy, how you doing? <laughs> How's it going? I know everybody like hates you and stuff, but like... Let's see, he's a, he's a popularity sim. So he's probably, like, not as into business. Wait, hi- Wait, he has a want to hire Bud as an employee? Is- Could that be enough of a- Of a wish for- Wait, did- Did Hamilton have any locked-in wants? Oh, he does. He wants a customer to gain a star. Okay. All right, he's pretty sloppy. He's outgoing. Lazy. Serious. Grouchy. Okay. Mustang is tired of being the black sheep of the family. His brother Hamilton is obsessed with being a photocopy of his father, and that gets on his nerves. But thanks to his uncles, he no longer feels like the scapegoat. What will happen now that Bud is gone and Marcus is thinking of leaving? What are your memories? I feel bad. You probably have all red. Not as many red. You got a D report card. Lost a fight with Hamilton. Ham grew up badly. Had a lousy birthday party. Met Uranus. Met all the people. Wait, what is this? Got rejected for makeout with Aphrodite. Got rejected going steady with Aphrodite. So he, he, he wants. He he's like, wants to be with Aphrodite, but she doesn't want him. So he he flopped at his relationship. Oh, he met a, the burglar guy. Made besties with Bud. Tyler. Okay, he remembers Tyler running away. It's interesting that he's the only one that remembers Tyler running away. So I think that just means he was, like, friends with him. And he met Clive Whisper, the, the, like, investigator guy. So he met... So Clive was probably asking him some questions. Made best friends with trauma. <laughs> I'm sure you did, little guy. <laughs> I'm sure you did, little guy. He made besties with trauma. Snuck out with trauma. <laughs> Had very first kiss with trauma. <laughs> kiss trauma for the first time. Made out with trauma. <laughs> <laughs> fell in love with trauma went steady with trauma got caught sneaking out fire oh there was a fire and then got busted he got arrested had a lousy party vermin bud died this poor child zombie met Faline. So I wonder what the fire's about did he start a fire somewhere and then get arrested for it like he's getting himself in trouble I didn't see that. So yeah, so he's 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 in on a in a relationship with trauma. See, he still has a crush on Aphrodite though. Even though he's even though he's with trauma, he wants Aphrodite. And he, yeah, he's friends with this burglar guy. He's friends with the suspicious burglar that does the dirty deeds around town. And he doesn't like Natalie Finkel for some reason. And he doesn't like Bisasha. Maybe just because they're like the popular cool girls in town. He doesn't like them. Oh, he's also friends with Quiver Stitches. We know that wherever Quiver Stitches goes, trouble follows. Oh, he's also friends with Marble. I wonder what trauma does trauma have? Maybe trauma's an arsonist and he's looking to fall for something. She took he took the fall for something. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we got that is that everybody? Did we do everybody? Okay, let me hit play. Oh, the boys are fighting. The, the parents are like worried. <laughs> okay. Okay, the boys are fighting. Look at these two. <laughs> what? Why is he? Look at how he's smiling, though. The way that they're just standing by as their as their children just like bully each other. He seems like he's happy about this, though. Maybe you deserve to keep your head shaved, Enzo. Oh, the household picks. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm like I'm all over the place right now. Let's look at the household storytelling. Oh, they got, wow, this one's really good. Again, I wish I could blow them up. This is the crew working away. So these look like the two boys fighting. This might, yeah, this might be Enzo and this might be the brother Marcus. And then 
I think this must be Bud. Looks like he's not really doing much. And then this is Trudy. Trudy looks like she has like messy hair. Maybe we need to adjust some of the hairs that they ended up with. Because it's just kind of my defaults. Okay, so th but this is Mustang and Marcus getting along. Meanwhile, the parents are giving giving uh, Mr. Hamilton attention in the back. Yeah, Trudy has messy hair from all the messing around. Yeah, look at her. She's got the choppy hair. I want to give her a funky hair now. I, uh oh. <laughs> Bud's asleep on the couch in his undies. And then this is Marcus over here. And these two are arguing. And then Mark, uh, Bud is in her little bubble. So they're, they're arguing about the brothers. <laughs> the brothers just being all over the house and being obnoxious. Marcus is quiet. Not Marcus. This is this is Mustang crying. Mustang is crying. Mustang seeing his dad love his brother and not him. This is sad. Okay, so here's these two are. F oh wait, do you think her messed up hair is from a bad makeover from Zelda? I didn't think of that. I thought it was just a design choice. But maybe that's what it's supposed to be. That her hair got screwed up by Zelda. And that's why she hates her. Is that what it is? <laughs> is that... <laughs> I didn't even make that connection. Now we gotta try and give her some screwed up hair. <laughs> and Zelda refuses to fix it or something. Okay, this is Mustang kissing trauma. And this, this back here playing a video game is actually Aphrodite. So it's interesting that he's... He's here... And then these are some of the other local kids too. I think this is Bisasha. Um, okay, this is this is Hamilton admiring um, the Dufour kid, Be uh, Ben Sebastian. I almost said Benjamin. Sebastian. Okay, so this is Bud, and this is um, one of the the poverty girlies, right? Oh no, her name's I don't remember what her name is. She was in the poverty household. This is baby mistake in here, in her belly. <laughs> There's a mistake growing in her belly. Um, they're fighting. Okay, so this is so this is Marcus at the club with Faileen walking around in her undies. And that's Biker Cushion in his Maxis appearance. Look, checking her out. Okay, this is this is Marcus and Marcus and Faileen fooling around at the club. And then she looks like she's not very happy while thinking about him. Like, she looks like she's kind of disgusted. Meanwhile, he's thinking about how much he, like, loves her. I feel like it was a bad time for her and a good time for him. Or, like, you know, she was just down to business and he didn't... He didn't... He just doesn't understand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, no. Wait. Meanwhile, outside... It's hard to see. It's very tiny. But this is Bud at the bottom of the pool. Wait, so last picture was... Okay. This is... This is Madame, like, fighting. Bubby. I think this must be... That must be Marcus standing there? I can't quite tell who's standing here. Was that Marcus in the... Yeah, in the blue shorts is Marcus. This is everybody mourning Bud. Except for her. Trudy does not look bothered. Trudy's got... Trudy's like, look at my hair. How could I care about anything else but my hair? Yeah, they're at the Bro Rose Bride Club. We've been there recently. Uh, but this is Cautious Sleeper, who's like the sheriff that probably delivered like the news or whatever okay this is the boys fighting with trudy's rocking her bad haircut okay so apparently this green bed was bud's bed the boys are just staring at bud's bed and crying <laughs> which is kind of funny but also kind of sad also it's fascinating i can see here we'll have to look bud's bed bud has ketchup and mustard and napkins on the side of his bed <laughs> this is the little ketchup napkin the little condiment centerpiece just on the on like a stack of tires next to his bed <laughs> okay bud <laughs> literally okay bud he has a little little condiment maybe he got confused when somebody told him to keep condoms next to the bed and he bought condiments <laughs> wait somebody said keep, stay safe bud buy some condoms and he bought he bought ketchup and he said oh i like condiments and he bought some ketchup and mustard <laughs> <laughs> and put them next to the bed. <laughs> he said, I don't know why, but they're supposed to keep me safe. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So Mustang is partying. Maybe Mustang acting out is like him handling the grief of everything going on. Perhaps. But Mustang's here with the crew. This is Quiver Stitches. This is Trauma. That's Corrado. I'm not sure who Girly in a Hat here is. Meanwhile... Daddy's helping Hamilton with his homework. Also, I didn't notice he's thinking about he's thinking about 
uh, what's his name? I keep forgetting his name, Sebastian. Thinking about Sebastian. Okay, they're secretly out here kissing. Where are they? I don't know where this lot is. Once again, we need to do more lot exploring. We haven't done- a there's a lot of community lots. Okay, family- family dinner. These two fooling around is that- that's Enzo and her. Okay, he's talking about- this is Marcus talking about Faelene, and then this is Mustang talking about trauma. Okay. And then he goes back to the Ro Rose Bride Club. He goes back to the Rose Bride Club and he sees Faelene dancing with Adrian. Because she's literally so unbothered by him. Like, she does not give a crap about him. Okay, so he got- he got butt hurt over the girly. And now he's fighting with Adrian. She- Faelene's, like, cheering it on. <laughs> which is funny. Is this just him fixing stuff? I guess he's just working on cars. This is- this is Enzo. Uh-oh, wait, they, yeah, so they're outside working, and then all of a sudden, zombie- zombie bud walks by, and they're all freaking out about him. And that's the last one, so that's their- that's their final memories. But that was- that was quite a adventure. That was quite an- this- this household's got some things going on. <laughs> this household's got some things going on. Anyway, I got- I'm gonna have Enzo go and, like, change. Okay, poor little Mustang. Let's get Mustang out of here. He just keeps getting bullied. Be poked, be poked. Maybe they can go work on stuff. Make a toy robot. Maybe I might also tweak. Like I said, I think some of the defaults that um, they ended up with just were kind of whatever their hat had defaulted. I kind of want it. So like one thing I noticed in the storytelling was that Enzo, the whole point was that Enzo and Hamilton, Hamilton's like trying to be a little copy of his father. And in the storytelling photos, you could see he had, they both had the same blue hat. So maybe they should both have, like, the same hair, if we can find a hair for them to share. A hair to share. I kind of like this one on him. Like, his his father had curly hair. Maybe they should both have this curly hair instead. There it is. They both got their curly hair. The fa family can't go to the town salon anymore. True. Okay, let's see what we can do with Trudy's hair, because she's supposed to have screwed up hair. I don't know if I have anything that's that's good enough. Her hair is supposed to be ba a bad haircut. Maybe she had to cut it off. Maybe she goes short. This is the hair that Enzo had, though. Maybe she goes short, too. <laughs> Zelda is causing this entire household to just have to buzz their hair off. Or try and grow it back desperately. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Now she, she's got this now because... I'm gonna give her this. I've decided. This is her... I had to shave off my hair because cause Zelda ruined it cut. Anyway, he wants Faelene. I feel like Faelene doesn't want him. This man just wandering around in his speedo. Seems correct. Okay, let's- maybe we'll open up shop. Are these doors, like, locked correctly? Yeah, looks like they are. Hold hands. Let's hold hands with this- this cheater. <laughs> Poor little Enzo. Enzo just seems like a nice guy. Enzo seems like a cool guy. And- and Trudy's just messing around behind his back constantly. Oh! Madame Zirconia is our first customer. That seems like a bad omen. And Aaron's here! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm afraid. Also, Aaron has like a pink flashing happening. What is going on with Aaron? Oh no, it fixed. Okay. Okay. You need to- who's gonna be- I think Trudy can be the cashier. Oh, wait. That's so funny. Wait, that's so funny that he happened to be here? Trudy received $200 from Aaron for child support. So I think we know who the baby belongs to. <laughs> I think we figured out who the baby belongs to. And the fact that he came, he, it's like it's like he came in to pay her 200 bucks. And Enzo doesn't even notice or doesn't even question it. He just came in to give her 200 bucks. He's like, here, I heard it's mine. Congrats, I guess. And he just walks out. He just leaves. The, the two of them, but also the fact that Madame was here. Did Madame tell him? Maybe, I feel like Madame made Aaron do it. Look at- and they just mm. leave. Why does he have these pink flashing glass- oh wait, no, they're not. They're looking at cars. Okay. What are you doing, Trudy? That's not what I told you to do. Leave the man alone. Be the cashier. Or maybe- I don't know who should be, like, the main salesperson. Because I'd also like Enzo to do some working on cars. But maybe some of the kids can do the, the cars. Uh-oh, Zelda's here now! Zelda's gonna cause trouble. Oh, I forgot that you also are here. I did forget that this little sh head is here. You need to maybe fix on- f fix on? Work on some cars. Or maybe make some sales for me. Do you have any badges? Have you any- what- what do you do successfully? Quickly. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Everybody knows robotics. Does robotics have anything to do with- is- with the cars? 
I'm kind of confused about the things happening in this house a little bit. Not you. Okay. Also, <laughs> why his booty? Why is this man got such a booty though? <laughs> look at his look at his little pink flash and booty. Look at his little pink flash and booty. We gotta reload this lot. <laughs> What's he doing with all that cake? <laughs> Girlie, you don't even know how to run the register. She wants to hire Aaron. She wants to hire all her boyfriends as employees. That seems like a bad idea. Marcus? Marcus, can I help you? Why are you... I can kind of see why Trudy wants to get rid of this man. Oh god, and Trudy's, Trudy's sick. Did his little guy out here... Okay, you're working on that one. I'm gonna have you work on this one. We've got all kinds of folks. We've even got Varushka here. We haven't even... We haven't really seen Varushka yet. Oh, this isn't... Like, this isn't the Varushka. It's a Varushka clone. But she's kind of... She's kind of a queen. Look at her shoesies. Look at her little pointy shoes. She could stab somebody. I need you to do some sales. We, we have a business to run. Oh, somebody actually bought the car? Somebody... Wait, was that... Oh, that must have been... Um, Madame... Okay, I need you to finish. There's a customer at the register right now. She she keeps eating instead of going helping the customer. Trudy doesn't. I feel like Trudy doesn't actually want to be here. Yes, go go be with customer. She left her chair scooched out. Oh, it went back in. It's your lover, Aaron. It's your lover boy, Aaron, and he's gonna get mad at you. Hello? Yeah, Trudy doesn't care. Trudy's questionable at best. So what does he need to be like an overachiever? Oh wait, wrong kid. I guess he not much because he just does school. But I thought overachiever is where he has to he has to have a job to be an overachiever. I think. So is he gonna have to work outside of the house? Also, Zelda's here talking to Mustang. What kind of things is Zelda putting in Mustang's head? Zelda's definitely causing trouble in this household. Talking about a magic genie lamp, supernatural stuff. What am I hearing? I'm just here. I just heard like an evil laugh. Oh, Varushka. So here's the- so interesting. Who was she thinking of? I wish I could figure out who she was thinking of. I wonder if she's thinking of- Cause like, Bud got killed. So like, is that- does she hate this family because- And that's- I wonder like, why did they target Bud? That's the question. You know? Oh my god. Is she- You know what's happening right now? This is fascinating. So- Varushka just kicked over our trash can. She she made an evil laugh, kicked over our trash can. And because where this is a business lot, she's complaining that it's dirty. She's like, oh my god, you people, you don't clean up anything. There's messes everywhere. What is wrong with you? After she just made the mess. <laughs> she's doing this on purpose. She's doing this on- she's trying to cause trouble. <laughs> Poor Mustang, like, I don't give a shit, lady. <laughs> Uh oh, now somebody else is gonna yell at him. What? I... But look, she just got a positive. She just got something fulfilled. She just got aspiration points from that. What What kind of want did she just fulfill? Besides maybe just being angry? Want. Yell at min min minimum wage employee. I think you're right. That was absurd. That was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Stage one, Karen. Drops hair in her own soup. There's hair in my soup, yeah. She was she was she had a blast doing that chat with her. Okay, Trudy's picking up the trash. Can we restock this? Hamilton's being a good little guy out here working away. I feel like one of the boys would do well as a cashier. Varushka, where you where are you going? What are you doing? He tried to invite her to play. Now she's lagging my game right now. Thanks, buddy. Did you not have I feel like she'd be into this. Oh my god, my game's like <laughs> Trudy, are you okay? Trudy's just sitting out here in a lawn chair. Varushka's lagging my game because she keeps she keeps trying to spam going through this door, so it's causing lag and <laughs> lag right now. Stop. I need you to tell her to stop. I need you to show an item to her and distract her. Uh-oh. She doesn't want anything. She wants to go through the door. <laughs> Trudy, do you want to like be useful in any way, shape, or form? Hamilton only has two days before his birthday. Okay, I think we do need to close up shop. It's dark now. So I guess we gotta get Hamilton a job though to make him overachiever. I don't think it's gonna work. Show item to customer. Okay. Got his social's really bad. I think I'm gonna have him stop. I think you need to go like hang out with someone. Maybe he should just call his boyfriend or invite him over. Okay, Aaron? Aaron? 
Aaron? Hello, Aaron. Hi, hi, Aaron. Can I help you, Aaron? What is with the pink flashing? Why is Aaron bringing forth the pink flashing? Look at it. Why is why is General Gustav here? Wait, why is he here? How did he get in here? Okay, General Gustav. Oh wait, but his wait Sebastian's here. This is awkward. Uh oh. <laughs> Sebastian's secretly dating Hamilton because his, he doesn't want his father to like know, even though he does know, like it's a well-known secret. That was awkward. His dad just walks by him. He's like, uh, hi dad. Also, yeah, Sebastian's not allowed to come in here. Let me, let me get in the hot. Oh, oh Jesus. Wait, what? oh God, the social buddy's in the ground again. Why does this keep happening? It must be the height mod. My man Hamilton's got himself a social bunny. So that's good. Okay, they're- okay, so- okay. Are they- <laughs> Are they about to- <laughs> Wrong number, sorry. Are they about to woohoo with the social bunny watching? The bunny's laughing! The bunny's- is the bunny homophobic? Is this bunny homophobic? Look at him! Look at him watching! Look at the bunny watching! <laughs> what? I hate it. This is very cursed. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> he said, oh my, that's my cue to get the hell out of here. What is going on? What are they doing? What are they doing? Why have I never seen this animation before? Is this just like teenager makeout? Why are they standing like this? I've never seen this animation. Is this for the, is this what the teenagers do? Oh, okay. Oh, what are they doing? This is- that was very strange. There's different animations for the hot tub. There's a shy one. Oh! Is it an- is that like outgoing? There's a shy one? Cause I genuinely- I'm pretty sure I don't have anything that would be influencing it unless I have something that like unlocks it. You know what I mean? That's a wild one. <laughs> I love how the bunny left. We got so distracted by the animation that the bunny just- we, we forgot about the bunny. I kind of want to take Hamilton on an adventure. Or should we- we gotta go visit a, a, a lot that we haven't been to before. Ooh, abandoned swimming pool? That sounds like a promising place. Desperate cemetery. Secret place. <laughs> should we go to secret place? <laughs> I just like it's just called secret place. But it's just on the public listing. <laughs> like obviously it is, but like, you know. <laughs> if he wants to go on a date. Ooh, this is the secret place. I wonder who's gonna show up. Who's already here? La Lachlan? Oh, this- we- we know Lachlan. He's a teenager. And then we got Marble. The icon Marble. Marble is the one that had a surprise woohoo with, uh, Jackie Dufour. Let's make Lachlan selectable. We haven't explored him. I'm still on the adventure of- of finding all the townies. He's a pleasure sim. Look at this little guy. So he is a teenager. He works as a convenience store clerk. Do you, oh my god, he's got a full-on bio. So many of the townies have like big bios, not just a bio, but like big bios. So as a teenage cashier, Lachlan Rescorla has a humorous tale to tell from his job. Once, while scanning items, he accidentally mistook a bag of marshmallows for potatoes. The resulting checkout mishap had customers chuckling. Now he is fondly known as the Marshmallow Potato Maestro, Ma Maestro? at the store. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so random. The Marshmallow Potato Maestro, Maestro at the store. <laughs> okay, Lachlan. Lachlan said, I have nothing to live for. Give me this. <laughs> I have nothing to live for. Give me this. Let me have this one thing. I'm, what? I'm sorry. It's both random and very specific. <laughs> Bless his heart. Bless his little heart. Does he have any fun memories or anything? Oh, he's who he's kissing. Oh, he kissed Sebastian. Oh, I remember that. So he he kissed Hamilton's little boyfriend. He also made out with Lewis. He made out with trauma. <gasps> he kissed trauma. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll send you back off, mister. Let's look at this the secret lot. Too busy kissing to learn what a potato is, I guess. Yeah, apparently. Okay, so we got these towers. Oh. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. 
We learned about this in the other. So in this, this creator has another hood called Gene Shaker's Oasis. Gene's Shaker Oasis. Gene Shaker has a whole storyline with clones. Um, there was this like whole thing that went on in that hood that had to do with like making clones. And then there was some sort of thing with like clones having to be surrounded by mirrors because of some sort of power it created or something. So this has to do with that. So this must be like a special lot where they were keeping clones or something and the clones had to be s surrounded by mirrors and everything. That's like, they were like creating the clones or something. That's what it looks like. It's some old abandoned lab where something suspicious was happening. That's pretty much, pretty much it. Interesting. Maybe we'll go to a different lot too. Maybe he'll have, he has to have a date sometime. Let's go to another lot. Wait, did I say go home? Oh wait, I thought I, w oh crap. I thought I told him to go to a different lot. Oops. Okay, that's fine. He's just got. He's just off doing tr doing trouble. I guess we'll figure something else out. Who's he talking to? Oh my God, he's talking. Wait, our little man's Hamilton is talking to Lachlan right now. I like how they just got like a little dirty butt. I like how these little outfits got like a little dirty butt. I like how they just wear them all the time. Oh, your oh, Miss Mustang's home. So we know that this is Bud's bed. So yeah. So I'm pretty sure this must be. Marcus's bed because they were both they, in the picture they were crying looking at this bed which has the condiments on the side <laughs> okay so I think that was That's what's his name just leaving no Seba did somebody just did somebody pee on the floor did Sebastian pee on our floor who just peed on the oh you just peed on the floor how did you just manage to pee on the floor because his hygiene is is full red and his bladder's full. How did how did you manage that? He he just got real nervous. He got real nervous. Who do you think you are peeing on the floor? What is he doing? Oh, I just saw smoke out here. Okay, he's daddy's having a meltdown in the backyard. Okay, okay, buddy, just just go to sleep. Just go to sleep with your wife, who's definitely not cheating on you at all. We'll have to keep an eye out for Bud. Mommy's up. Yeah, so we gotta decide on a we gotta decide on a, a vehicle name for mommy, for mommy's babies. Yeah, so far the only car we sold was this one, which is only eight hundred ninety eight dollars. I don't think we sold any others. I'm gonna lock in Hamilton grows up well or gets an A plus report card, because right now I don't think overachiever is gonna be possible because we're not letting them like work regular jobs, and Hamilton is only like a couple days away from being an adult. Do you think he's he wants to go to college? Do you think he I I feel like maybe because see the thing is is Enzo has a bad memory of not going to college. I missed my chance to get a higher education. I wish I had gone to college as a young adult. So like I feel like he's gonna push Hamilton to go. The only thing I could see is Hamilton like looks up to his dad enough that he I feel like he would say, but you didn't go to college, dad, and you're great. You know what I mean? The boys go into school. I wonder how the boys feel going to school in there. I feel like Mustang hates having to wear this stupid suit to school every day, but Hamilton is proud of it. Like Hamilton like thinks it's great, but Mustang thinks it's so stupid, but his parents don't buy him any other clothes. They're like, you have your jumpsuit. What do you think? Why do you need clothes for? We got, you got your coveralls. You got your coveralls, boy. Mustang chain, yeah. Mustang keeps outfit an outfit underneath the coveralls. Oh, yes, I can pick it up. You're not gonna tell me what I can and can't do, Will Wright. Will Wright's trying to tell me what I can do. Will Wright, you're not my dad. You're not my real dad. Somebody gonna write a, a fan fiction of, <laughs> of being Will Wright's stepchild. <laughs> it's called, you're not my real dad, Will Wright. Who's, who just spent a dollar? Oh, you- I forgot that you exist. I, I keep forgetting this- I'm not gonna lie, I keep forgetting this man exists. Will right and Will wrong. A tale of two dads. <laughs> My two dads. I know, there's bugs. Usually bugs mean bad things. Oh, Faylene! Wait, Faylene's here! We gotta run out here to greet Faylene. He's running! He can smell Faylene's pheromones from the house. He's like, <gasps> Faylene, she's like, oh god, this asshole, this freak. Uh, oh. Oh. She accepted? She accepted. Interesting. So she kind of is playing along. Is he gonna try and- what if he- do you think- is he gonna propose to her right here on the spot? I'm gonna do it. We're gonna- we're gonna go for it. She's already rejecting. There we go. 
She's like, what? <laughs> Are you joking? You you think what? She's just like, I work at the... Oh, he's having... Okay. She just walks away. She left the lot. She's like, that was awkward. He wants to classic dance with her. He still loves her. I was gonna say, where's the where's the therapist? Like nobody's okay. Out in the rain. <laughs> uh, hi, Aaron. Also, Aaron lives in the same house as Fa as Faleen, and it's probably fooling around with her. All right, buddy, go back to working on your your stuff here. Oh my god, that scared me! That was like a jump scare. That was a that was a jump scare. He's crying. Oh, he's crying about. I thought he was crying about the engine. I feel bad for Marco. Mar Marco. Marco Polo. Marcus. His name's Marcus. I think you should do your homework because you're a goody two shoes. And while I don't think he's gonna do his homework, he needs fun and social. Look at this man. He's just out here in between the cars in the alley. Just sobbing about his, his, he's just, his broken. He's just broken. What am I being shown? Why, now, why the hell is this military man dinging the bell? Wait, uh-oh. <laughs> this is one of her lovers. This man's name is Titanium Purple. Ew, I caught him, I caught him mid-blink. Ew. <laughs> this is Titanium Purple. He's dinging our bell. Let's make Titanium Titanium Purple is a really fun name. Let me just see what you're up to, Titanium. As soon as I selected him, he's like, Oh, he wants to be engaged to Trudy. Oh, no. Look at all of his lovers, though. He's with Trudy. He's with Summer. He's with Chantel. He's with Barbara. He's with Faylene. He has a crush on Matthew? Okay, he has a crush on Matthew Laval, the drill instructor. Titanium enlisted impulsively after stumbling upon a promotional pamphlet. And while he proved competent at his job, he's known for being the one who stays up latest at the warehouse dance club. Okay. He's a party man. But also, Trudy, if Trudy gets up, I'm afraid she's gonna, like, interact with him. Let's have Trudy get up. <laughs> Let's have Trudy get up. Did he, like, invite... This is a fake smile. This man has a fake smile on his face. Are you walking away? Why are you literally as soon as somebody comes up to the register? Ooh. Oh my god! Not the jump scare again! Jesus Christ! That was scary! Why are we- why are you gonna be mean? Get back to your goddamn engine, Hamilton, you little creep. How much- how much younger is Mustang? Mustang is five days younger. Oh. Oh, Titanium Purple thinks that Marcus is hot. Yeah, Hamilton's got one day, so I guess he should- he wants to go to college, so I guess he should try? Does he actually- he doesn't have anywhere near an A-plus to- I don't think that he's- I don't know. Does he have enough points to get any sort of- any sort of scholarship? I don't know. My man's is having a meltdown? Like his brother. The boy- the boys are- <laughs> look at this little sad man's face. He fell in love with a- with a sex worker and wants to marry her and, and doesn't understand why she doesn't- share feelings with him <laughs> the way <laughs> this man's like excuse me th there's a customer trying to buy something and this man's like excuse me i'm writing in my diary <laughs> bring up these goddamn customers marcus i feel like marcus needs to find a girly that is worth his time little perfect little hamilton waiting for his food for his daddy to feed him his dinner i'm gonna have him call and ask trauma out on a date La Cofa Buma? we gotta go we gotta go you spend some time with our trauma we gotta go spend some quality time with our trauma let's go to a community lot it is kind of funny that they have all these cars but not one of them is actually functional for them to use <laughs> i think that they should go to the old warehouse dance club what does he want to do entertain trauma <laughs> we want to entertain the trauma this is queen trauma um, if y'all haven't actually met Trauma in person, she's really great. Maybe I'll get her inside in the light. Let's entertain her real quick. What's really fun about Trauma is they used a a slider, an asymmetrical slider. So she's she has a crooked nose. Her nose is like facing the the wrong way. A little not the wrong way, but you know, like her nose is tilted. 
Um, so she's she's asymmetrical. I think her eyebrows are also one's up and one's down. Oh, People do carpool around here a little bit more. Oh, did she just trauma? Trauma's a hater. Trauma giving our boy trauma. Yeah, like hello. Okay, what are we gonna do with her? I noticed she wants to fall in love with Marble. Marble's a little player. Okay, these two are having fun. He still wants to entertain her. Inside joke maybe would be good. Okay, are we getting it to trying to get it up to good? Oh my god, she wants to woohoo. I mean, not she wants to make out with 10 different sims, which means she's already made out with at least five. Because I think, doesn't it? It's make out with somebody, make out with two. Is it two, three, five, and then it jumps to 10? I think is how that. So she's made out with at least five sims, right? DJ Star Boss. DJ Boss Star Killer is. Wait, should I have I ever selected DJ Boss Star Killer? Wait, I think I need to select him. I don't think I've ever. The only people he knows are Adrian Bravo, Marcus, Barbara Poverty, who he's in love with, and Chantel Fortier, who he's he's in love with, and then Mustang. DJ Boss absolutely slays the dance floor, keeping the party lit. And his music mixing skills are straight fire. <laughs> this feels like it was written by like a corporate team or something. If you slide up, if you, <laughs> I can't read it. If you slide up to him, you might just score a killer house cocktail on the house. <laughs> if you slide up to him. He's a family sim also, which is fascinating. That's his MySpace bio, it's true. He wants to marry off six children. He's a family sim. Sir, I think I think you're wow. Unselectable. Thank you for that that time, Mr. Boss. Thanks. That was a good time. Maybe we should go out again. Okay. Herman Stalker. Wait, this man's is this man look like a random? I can't tell. I think he does look like a random. This man's name is Herman Stalker. Are you a, a random? Yeah, he's a random generated. Why Why do you have to be called Herman Stalker, sir? Oh, Herman Stalker said I- Her, Herman Stalker said I will not take this slander. I'm out of here. <laughs> he just left his post. Why did he just leave? He just- He just left his post at the- at the- the bar. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I, I will not take this. He to get back to his vigilante job. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's sent off the stalker symbol <laughs> into the sky. We he, Somebody needs his help. I'm going to have you... Oh, that's right. Is he... No, he's not aging up today. But I do want him to quickly, while we're right here, I do need him to call college, apply for scholarships. I have a feeling he might not have any. If he has some, it might be related to skills. No. It's interesting he wants to grow up well, but also go to college. I guess technically when they, like, go to college, they grow up anyway, right? Okay. I guess I'll have you go to sleep, and then in the morning I might have him... Uh, this man keeps sleeping in the, the, ch the kid's bed. Like, stop. Go to your own room. You're drunk, Uncle Marcus. I'm buddy old pals here. I think that I kind of want the dad... Well, the dad's awake, honestly. I mean, not awake. He's fully energy. Fully energized? Fully energized. Duh. And chastise him. He's gonna yell at little, little mans. No, get out of your wife's loving arms. Go yell at your son. He's gonna traumatize his. F oh God! Oh no! I missed the birth. Uh oh! Wait, we're gonna randomize really, really quick. Randomizing really, really quick. Uh oh! It's gonna, it's gonna. Here we go. Roll dice. Twins. Kick. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to. Let me, I, I have to like pull it up and do it quick because it, it times out, which is really dumb. So we got twins. We got twins. I'm sorry. That was really quick. Sorry. I don't like it when it has to be like confusing and fast. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get double the, double the money from Aaron. Aaron owes us like 400 bucks because it was actually double the, the babies. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hand baby two. And it's just a picture of spaghetti. She looks horrified. Look at her. She's like, I hate you people. <laughs> I hate you people. Well, it seems that maybe Mustang got out of the loop. Got out of having to, to get in trouble. Because mommy gave birth. Mommy is giving birth. All right. 
We got goddamn twins. It's two boys. Okay. Honda Civic? <laughs> Is that what we think? Honda and Civic? <laughs> We've got- I've seen- I'm seeing three for Honda Civic. Sedan? Wait, Sedan is also good. I think we need to do Honda. What if we did name one baby? What if we went over the top and did- Also, thank you for the follow. What if we did Honda Civic? Toyota Corolla is really good too. Did I do Toyota? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Range Rover. <laughs> I just think it's so silly having it be like double names. What if we- What, what if we like humanize them and do a, a little dash? Like they like it's a like Mary Sue, <laughs> Honda Civic, <laughs> Toyota Corolla. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with it. It's really dumb. It's very dumb, and I'll regret it. But here we are. Uh, bah. I feel like they'd have random hideous cribs, or maybe they'll have two the two camo color schemes. You want to feed bottle to? Are you holding Honda Civic or Toyota Corolla? You're all, you're holding Toyota Corolla. Okay, cool. <laughs> You got the baby? Okay, you got the baby. You got Honda Civic. <laughs> so stupid. I can't. Not these two making a baby in front of their son. They said, all right, time for another one. Why are you feeding Honda Civic? Put put him in the crib. Okay, I'm gonna have him come down here and do some restocking. Well, no, he's gonna go to school. That's right, we gotta have our child Hamilton go soon. Okay, why are the boys in the room? The boys are in the room with the parents, woohooing. Okay, you- I'm gonna have him go off to college. Okay, you- why do you have- he's so obsessed with the babies. You're feeding the baby a stinky nasty- he's trying- Mustang is trying to murder Toyota Corolla. Mustang is trying to hurt Toyota Corolla. With a filthy bottle. This man- this woman is smiling against her will. All right, Hamilton's getting the hell out of here. I oh, I thought he was- I thought he was going to the bus. I was like, I swear to God, Hamilton. Wait, there's a love letter? Wait, there's a love letter in the mail. Who's- why is she getting a love letter? Okay, we didn't have her go on a date or anything. I wonder who it's from. Because she would- I don't think she'd be kissing it if it wasn't for her, right? What did you get a- who did you get a love letter from? Oh, it's from trauma. Wait, why did she- she kissed it thinking it was one of her men's. <laughs> she kissed it thinking it was for her. It's for trauma. <laughs> it's- I mean, it's for- it's of trauma. It's for- it's for... Mustang. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks, girly. I- now, the real question is, is how- she picked up some bugs. So she picked up some bugs and she dropped- Smoking ashes. Did she cremate the bugs? Oh, Enzo's. Uh oh, I think Enzo's gonna go yell at. Gonna go yell at Mustang. Okay, he's getting hey, yelled at. <laughs> Why is he yelling at him about pork chops? Why is he? Sa he says if you don't go to school, you're never gonna be able to afford pork chops. Okay, this is not going great. <laughs> Oh my god, she needs to- ma'am, you gotta stop sobbing. Trudy? Trudy's a mess. He wants to get married so bad. What if I lock in get married instead of specifically to Faylene? Unless I should try. Maybe he needs to find somebody else. You'd think with three adults in this household, we wouldn't be such a mess. Okay, Marcus, why are you making multiple things? Okay, stop. Mark- what? What? Okay. Okay, I know why I did this. Because of- so Marcus finished making a well-prepared meal. So I had him on the macro, which like has him do stuff. All kinds of different things, but like- So he finished making a, a grilled cheese- a mac and cheese. And he put it in Enzo's inventory because Enzo is like the owner of the business. But I just love this concept of Marcus making a bowl of mac and cheese and slipping it into Enzo's pocket. <laughs> when he's not looking. Just saying- Fair brother, I've made this for you. <laughs> I did- I did this for you, brother. Stop with the mac and cheese, Marcus! <laughs> please, Marcus, please. Okay, girlie needs help. Where are you? She keeps walking away. It's really frustrating that they won't stay at their post. 
Uh-huh. Like, you're- you're- I want you working here right now. Uh-oh, we lost- seems that we might have lost some customers. Because this is not doing good. We need somebody hired standing here is really what we need, ultimately. Or else- uh -huh. so things don't fall apart. We're gonna call Bud. Invite over. <laughs> Mustang's stirring drama and trauma. Mustang's stirring drama and trauma. He's gonna hire his dead uncle, Bud Automotive, to run the store. Bud has arrived. It's great, Bud. I think we should select Bud and see what his his deal is. Wait, let me select Bud. I don't know what his his info says. I don't know. Did I ever read? I don't know if I've ever read Chris Sean's info even. So Bud actually is a is a, a romance sim. Bud likes to fix cars, but he also likes to take long breaks or start chatting casually with customers. Don't get so boring. You used to be cool he said to his brother Enzo, before turning into a zombie. So, he's like a chill guy. Does he have any special memories? Oh, he made enemies with General Shi. He's, he doesn't have a lot of memories. But I guess maybe that's the point, is that he got brought back to life and he doesn't remember things. Okay. We're gonna go hire. We're gonna hire him. What? Wait, what did he- what is he doing? Why is he- Suike! Why did he do that? <laughs> he just went, Enrique, 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 Enrique. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? <laughs> what are you doing? Why was, why was he doing that? Why is he talking to the ashes? <laughs> is he okay? I mean, he's a zombie, so he's not okay. Also, the little, the little kiss? That's the come here in action? I thought it was the- I didn't know that was- <laughs> Yeah, he has a robotics badge. Wait, he already has a job? What was his job? <laughs> okay. It's like, congrats, bud. Although it's literally nighttime, we should close the store. Oh, wait. Well, somebody's buying stuff. I like his little scruffy beard. I like the choice to give him, like, the little scruffy beard. Marcus, do the work. It's a it's a button, Marcus. Hit the button. Honda Civic is just sitting alone in the dark. Put Honda Civic in the bouncy bounce. No bounce for Honda Civic. Worst cars and baby. We gotta test its suspension. <laughs> we gotta test test the baby suspension. So yeah, this is our last day with these guys. This is our we're once we're done with this day, we're done with them. Um I think there's a lot of promising storylines happening here, but we didn't quite get them like started. There's like a lot going on in this house. I feel like in the future I need to like maybe streamline a little bit of the business. Like it's kind of all over the place. I feel like, like I'm just getting really like distracted. I'm like, okay, I'd like it just to be cars maybe because they have enough money to just survive and sell cars and like make cars and sell them, you know? So I kind of, I don't really get, I don't think I really care about them doing the robotics as much as making cars. And I'd like put the little, in progress cars maybe in here the phone is ringing everybody's just they're just playing i think should we should we add bud to the household i feel like we should i don't know i just want him here i just want bud back but like he left his condiments here and everything like he he's his, his whole condiments and all of his bed and everything is here i'm gonna do it i think marcus would be excited to see him I think Marcus is excited to see his brother. He's in a rough spot and he's like, oh my god, brother, come back to us. <gasps> he said no. He said no, I'm not moving in. Oh no. Okay, we do need- Oh, I actually- I didn't realize I had him selected still. Maybe his brain is ruined by the, by the zombieism. I would assume it is. I probably have- there's probably a cooldown too. Maybe there's a cooldown for asking. What's he doing? He's yelling? Uh-oh, is he quitting? I think he's mad at us. I have no words. You want to stay the night? Okay, he said yes. He said yes to stay the night. <laughs> I'm gonna have you... What is, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> He's just sobbing for no reason. Marcus is doing Marcus stuff. Oh, you're gonna look at him and say, dang, he's lost it. Look at his face. Look at his face. Ew, I hate what his mouth is doing. He said... 
<laughs> he complained at? He's just yelling at us? He's just yelling at us? He's yelling at us because he hates Trudy. He says, why is that lady still here? I don't remember anything about anybody, and I don't know who you people are, but I know I don't like that lady. Okay, well, it is Thursday. <laughs> it is technically the end of our time in this household. But I like this household. I think there's some interest. Like I said, I think I'd like to consolidate the business a little bit. Try and get it a little bit cleaner. I get paid soon so I can buy more bits to continue the much anticipated Spongebob piss saga. Fantastic. <laughs> That's your first message. That's your first message. YouTube, don't read what I wrote. <laughs> That's so funny. You know I'm going to have to blow that up on screen and zoom in. Um... <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We're going to go now. Goodbye. Say goodbye, chat. <laughs> live studio audience. We're going to end recording. This part that I'm... We're going to do a little investigation before we get going. But in the video, I, if I include this in the video, I'm probably going to tack it on at the end. But we're going to we're gonna investigate the mysterious socks and sandals men that have appeared in the, in the village. <laughs> Over here on the corner is my my sneaky little little spooky lot this is my little this is the lot that i take screenshots and do things hello bogwater <laughs> as you can see it's name it's this is where i dropped all of the bin sims and also spawned all the of uh, like random townies that aren't part of the hood um and killed them <laughs> so <laughs> and do what <laughs> Uh, nothing. This is um, one of the Ramaswamis. This is Priya Ramaswamy, who's a bin sim. She uh, unfortunately got to survive the death of all the other um, bin sims and t unwanted townies. Uh, so she gets to be a survivor. She gets the survivor's guilt, you know. This is where I take screenshots. But anyway, so we're gonna look at... So here's what I found. So this is a sim manipulator. When I go to the spawn sim section, there is, um, so like we have the townies, which are, these are all like the townies that are supposed to be here. The ones that were made by, uh, the creator of the town. And then, so what I like about sim manipulator is it separates them. It separates them by, by grouping. So there's townies and we can see there's NPCs, which is like a DJ, um, I think Katarina might be like a witch. So we have them. And then there's the defaults, which is like Hula, Zombie, Pollination Technician, Grim Reaper, NPC, Remote Control Car, etc. But then when we go here, there's this one that's just three dots. And I don't know what that one's supposed to be. I've discovered that all of the mysterious townies with socks and sandals in that outfit are in this dot, dot, dot. This is them. Right? And it's weird because, like I said, m most of them, not all of them, though, have this same bracelet. But then not all of them are socks and sandals townies. And I can't figure out where they came from. Whoops. And there's a bunch of them. See, there's this the one we gave a makeover to. Yeah, and I don't know. But then there's, like, this girly. Sandy. She's got the exact same last name as these two guys. And all three of them have the exact same last name. But, like, he doesn't have the bracelet, which I was under, from the, un under the, like, understanding, <laughs> that's, not, like, not the best way to say that, that the bracelets can't be randomized. That they're not available for townies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have any travel destinations attached. I'm not, I, I gotta go back, maybe I'll go back to the neighborhood. I'm pretty sure, the only thing I added was a custom university. Do they seem like, that's what I was thinking. They do seem like... And again, this, and well, that's, you know, and that's also the thing is the tourists, they have like families, right? The tourists are like grouped in family names. That's, you're right. I forgot about that. Like, it'll be like a family with all the same last name staying at a resort. I forgot about that. So it's like, they are supposed to be all the same last name. And then, because the bracelets come from Bon Voyage. But like, let me go, let me see. Because I definitely didn't add... Do I have... No, I don't have any... I don't have any destinations. Could they have been accidentally, like, packaged into the college that I downloaded? I downloaded Cactus Canyon University. And I did go there. 
Which, like, we could go there now since we're kind of talking about it. Like, maybe they were accidentally thrown in there somehow. But, like, this is the university. And I went and checked. And the only households that are, like, here are... This, these, there's two girlies here that are a sorority. And then, like, these guys. And that's it. There's not really anybody else hanging out. I did check in Simpe. I wrote down a couple of their names and pulled them up. Also, hi, Jet. Um, and I couldn't really find anything. Um, we did a fight club elimination round to handle them. But it's so funny that, like, we discovered them when we were playing Husky's household. Where Husky has that outfit. And, like, people in the comments of the video were like, it's a Husky fan club. <laughs> and I didn't even think of, like, think of that. So, yeah. That's kind of, that's where, I guess that's what it's gotta be. That must be, because that, I didn't think about the fact that, I forgot about how the vacation tourists have all the same last name, because that makes a lot of sense. <laughs>